Matt and Peter. Welcome back, nerds. <laughs> it's Matt and Peter. <laughs> it's not Matt and Peter. It's not Matt. Matt. It's Matt, Matt, Matt and Ray. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Matt's on the play. Uh, we both kept seven. Um, you don't like my welcome back. Planes go. <laughs> you said it into me, and he started raving. He's like, "Welcome back, nerd." Matt and Peter. <laughs> I was like, "It is not Matt Peter. It's Matt and Ray." Thought he should. He said more. Yeah, I think now uh, times two. Spider. What sleeves are those, Peter? Uh, they got <laughs> That's all you know. Vinyl and <laughs> big about to ask. Here. Oh. Six. Oh, I will take the uh, vial. Sure. And 18. I've been, been really hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I will play the ram. Say go. I'm going to play Razor Rush Thicket and cast a Retains of Format with uh, Connive. And I will discard a Goblet Shrine. Go ahead. I'll go back to combat and pump that once. Yeah. Play a second. Tap two for a gilded pinions. When that enters, I make a treasure. Oh, cool. Nice. Go ahead. Is it a caster here? It is a band that I will. Yeah. Or pinions and form it again. Discard a. Not a combo. Stupid elves. Uh, play Dark War on green. Okay. I'll write this for you too. Uh, oh, two. He didn't even write it on the card. <laughs> 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 so that you can just de it. Go ahead. Also, you can read this? Also, yeah. Here, I'll write it again. Give me the comment because it's going to be this black because they might not be able to see it. So it's a black color. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> we are playing Bulgari Elves. So pretty much. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. portable hole your let's do this in format. I'm going to tap three to put Giganta in my hand. Okay. And pass. Draw. Yeah, 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 you're good. You're good. Yep. Take two, shock. Sure. And I'm going to uh, cast Witherbloom Command, destroying this and milling myself three. Sure. Um, so then, mill three and get any land back. I'm going to get back mana confluence. Okay. And this one's in play Knife. I discard a Parthenon. Uh, it gets a counter, and then I'll attack with two. What? I would. Maybe I'm not dead. I think it was poured in the shop and cast it. Oh, yeah. That one is pretty typical. I think he had that. That's also pretty 
Hmm. All right. Um, yep. Land for turn. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna portable hole the one with the counter on it. This guy over here. I'm talking to you. It's talking to Peter. I'm going to tap four, crack the treasure for a green. Pick up Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, just one of those. Yeah, they are. I'm gonna play these Go to combat. I'm gonna bring back Parhelion. I'm gonna crew Parhelion. I'm gonna attack for aisle 13. Whoa. Oh, did you know all this? No. I can, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can. I can. Uh, okay. I'll rewind a little bit for you, just so you understand what's happening. Yeah. Oh, so this is my graveyard. Uh, Greasefang. At the beginning of combat on my turn, I can return target vehicle from my graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. It gains haste, and then I return it to my hand at the beginning of the next end step. So. Okay. So I bring back Parhelia. Yep. When Parhelia comes into play, uh, it creates two white vigilant. Oh, sorry. When it attacks, rather. Um, it creates two white vigilant tokens with flying and vigilance that are also attacking. Okay. And it coos for four. Okay. So then I use Grease Fane to clear this. Sure. And it has haste. So then I declare attack with uh, the Parhelia. And then I guess he has vigilance, but uh, he makes two angels that come along. Sure. And they are also attacking. Okay. So then it's 13 in the air. 13 in the air. Yep. Take it. Go to three. Go to three. And then second main, I'll play a uh, Bloomy Marsh. And then end step, this yeah, comes back from Greek's face. And it is your turn. Uh -huh. Yeah, it might be. Oh, that's okay. Uh, it's the first time I'm playing this in paper, but I assume <laughs> like everyone knows about the Greasy one. So, so, can I read? Yeah, absolutely. so at the beginning of combat, right at the beginning of combat, the it triggers. So from your graveyard to the battlefield, a vehicle from the grave to the battlefield, and then you can. It has haste, so it can be crewed and attack. Or if it has other abilities, okay, then it can do that as well. So you can crew it any time. Correct. There's just like, there's one interaction I'm not sure, sure. about that I might have to look up, mm -hmm. but um... Basically, if you let me go to combat, this is going to go on the stack. So if you ever want to do anything to Grease Fang, you have to do it in my main phase. So, but if I, if... Okay, all right. Yeah, I think I'll have to look something up, but uh, I'm going to cast a crane. Sure. It doesn't really. <laughs> it doesn't, no, not at all. Simon Blunt would have. Yeah. But I've also spent no cigar, I think. <coughs> um, I'm a poor little one. Yep. Um. What? You have another Parhelion in the grave? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, this has this has flying, so maybe we will get somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's in my hand. Sorry. I'm going to portable hole one of your angels. Um, then I'm going to pay two to equip the gilded pinions to the Gigantha. Is it flying? Is it flying? Go ahead. Uh, go to combat? Yeah. So trigger? Yeah. Bring back yeah. Parhelion. You don't have to be afraid of the pilot. Yeah. Oh, those are also attacking. E yes. Yeah, yeah, have. yeah, they're going to be attacking. Four. Yeah, 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 that, yeah that's fine. We can get two more angels. Yeah. I will attack with everything. Yeah. Okay, so. I don't know, you might know. So with the Alchemist file, it was in my grave, so I can just right. ask you. So, I know I can only do this before, like, combat, but is, can I... You would have to do it in my main phase. But 
I can't. You can't stop this trigger from happening. But can I stop the parhelion from attacking? Um, like, is there a time? Is there a time for it to happen? Yes. Yes, there yes. is. Yeah, okay. Because essentially, how the, it would work is, I would crew. Yeah. And so then it becomes a creature, and then priority goes back and forth yeah. before he actually attacks. Okay. So and then, then you could do that to oh. prevent it from attacking. Okay. And then it just chills and goes back to my hand at the end of turn. Okay. That's Same thing with like any type of naturalize effect or destroy thing. You can let it become a creature and then kill it, and then it just you know it's in the graveyard at that point if you kill it. But, right. Um, but yeah, yeah. So there's definitely a window for it. Okay. Yeah. Say so most people would try and do stuff to Grease Fang to stop the trigger in combat, and it's like you can't do that. Right. Because once it hits the, the beginning of combat, it will trigger even if Grease Fang is not there. Yeah. Which sometimes works good to my advantage, like with a, a Chariot, but bad for Barhelion because, you know, I usually can't crew it if they do something to it. <laughs> um. I was thinking about that. Grease Fang is CMC 4? 3. Three. It's a 4-3. One black, one white, one colorless. This card, I swear it's in my sideboard. That's <laughs> okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, splitting sleeves is a thing. So. I was just like fixing this deck and then. It was kind of un. It was taken apart for a while and uh -huh. uh, I put it back together. Not much I can really do. Cause I kind of need all of it, so just got a thin, right? That's right. What about a little hedge? They have to play it out for the invite, though. So I mean, it's, a, it's if it's really like seven round. people, I will just grab eight deck and offer. You literally should offer to split at that point. You made eighty dollars. Wait, is there a standard RCQ I hear about? No, there's a Pioneer one next week. Oh. Oh, where? You guys only think eight people Wait, for time? Pioneer? Saturday? Saturday? No, Saturday no way. No one's pre registered yet. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Sure. It says me okay. say, what if? So you better believe people message me on Facebook at like 3 a.m. Sign me up for the RSQ. <laughs> Why don't you just go to our website and check out? <laughs> Matt just hates me. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Get off my lawn. It's <laughs> bad, <laughs> I got a message about it. So the only person I don't mind messaging me is Ray because he'll be like, here's a whole list. Yeah. But everyone else is like, hey, do you have this card? So I come out front and check. Go back. No, I don't. Okay, do you have this card? Go out front and check. Come back. Okay, cool. But do you have this card? Give me your whole list. Oh, I'm just I'm just like piecing together commander back. I don't know what I'm Yeah, I almost didn't send you the list for the um, two concealed courtyards because I just sent you a list. And I was like, this doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like because I literally thought it was in my collection. So I like I was building the deck and I was like, what two cards am I missing? And well, I actually had four cards. It was two of the mutt because I only owned uh, arena copies of it and oh. moto copies of it and nothing in paper. And went through like the booster packs I got here for like you know F and M and stuff and nothing. I was like, all right, cool, gotta get some mutts. And then I was like, concealed courtyard. Go through my collection. Go through my collection. I was like, 
okay, yep. Here's another probably $10. And I looked it up, I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> and then like no one had it in stock. And so I was like, all right, I don't, I don't want to ask Matt about this, but like it's, it's between Matt and Cards in the Corner. So I was like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> I was it's like, not worth your 80 cents yeah. of time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so it was, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of, lot of people that don't get that reference, yeah. but if you know, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can't go in and get out in under an hour. You can. You can't. No, you, you can. Yeah, you, you can. You can if you pretend you're deaf and you only see, like, <laughs> you like talk of your own. Yeah. yeah. I just been a couple say, times I went in there. Yeah, and I was I like, walk right, out. Just he's just like, you want to see all these cards I just bought? Do all this and this, that, and the other? And it's like, oh, come on, Eric, I got to go, man. I'll be on that play again. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. I think you should get a dice box. Here's yeah. yeah, I'll keep this one. I'll also keep this Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like um, a... tapped. Go ahead. One through ten or whatever. You can roll it. Start with the season gone. Uh, that's what I thought. Get it? I know. Because you roll all five. Yeah, it's yeah. Five times two. That's it. Yeah, I'm good. And everything else is random. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, one through one. Through that. There's like, so like a five and a thirty. Cast the odds. It's a dollar roll. That's what magic cards is anyway. I'm going to just take your invitation. Sure, one of them, rather. Your turn. Just play with I figured you did. I don't force Play a like Spire. Tap two for like wedding invitation. No. Yep. Draw nobody, a card. Nobody until, uh, I think like Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I will like, play a Ruffian's Informant. Knife. Discard Barhelion. Get you to it. And it's your turn. Um, Sanctum of Boogan. <laughs> Got him! Got him! Three for a haunted cloak. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'll play uh, Confluence. I'm going to take one and play Grease Fink. Yep. Go to 17. Move to combat. Uh, trigger crew. And then I'll attack for 16. Yep. And then end step, party then comes back. Go ahead. Wow, that kind of blows. Um, I mean, I can play this. I can play my land, and then I can I can glass cascade your grease fang. But I think it's too late anyway. So. Yeah. Did you 